welcome students welcome to this video lecture series on food and cosmetic analysis in this fourth video you are going to learn about determination of boric acid and sodium benzoate as a preservatives so in this we are going to learn estimation of boric acid by titrimetric method and estimation of boric acid by spectrophotometric methods using carminic acid reagent and also the estimation of sodium benzoate by hplc method so here the first method estimation of boric acid by titrimetric method so here are the steps how to determine or how to estimate the boric acid by using titrimetric method about 10 gram food sample is first heated for 16 hours to form ash then the ash is treated with lime water and 2.5 molar NaOH and 0.5 molar H2SO4 to convert the boric acid into its free state then mannitol is added to convert boric acid into a relatively strong monobasic acid the abo solution is titrated against pre standardized 0.2 molar NaOH in the presence of phenolphthalein until a permanent pink color is obtained the volume of alkali required for the titration is used to calculate the amount of boric acid present using the relationship 1 cm cube of 0.2 molar NaOH is equivalent to 0.0116 g of boric acid so from the burette reading we can calculate or we can estimate the amount of boric acid present in the sample by using this procedure so basically from the burette reading we can easily identify how much boric acid is present in the sample by using this relationship or by using this equation then next is a estimation of boric acid by spectrophotometric method so in the spectrophotometric method we are going to use carminic acid reagent here are the steps to estimation of boric acid by using spectrophotometric method first the sample about 1 to 5 g is mixed with calcium oxide and charred and ignited at approximately 500 degree centigrade until a whitish residue is obtained after cooling the ash is moisturized with water appropriate volume of 6 molar hcl is added and the solution diluted with suitable volume of ionized water color development is carried out by adding 5 cm cube concentrated h2so4 per 0.5 g of the ash followed by 5 cm cube of carminic acid carbonic acid changes color from red to blue with boric acid presence of concentrated sulfuric acid the absorbance is determined at 610 nanometer against the blank the boron concentration is read from the calibration curve in standard boric acid solution ranging from 0 to 57 microgram per cm cube of boric acid so by using this a procedure we can also estimate the boric acid by a spectrophotometric method so here basically the carminic acid is used as a reagent which is developing color with a boric acid so depending on the color intensity we can estimate the amount of boric acid present in the sample here is the another method of estimation of sodium benzoate in by using hplc method so here is the detailed procedure reagent and standards used in this hplc methods are deionized water ar reagent grades of 99% the condition which is used in the hplc methods are columns of iron pack as18 analytical or iron pack ag18 guard column eluents is a 35 millimolar koh from 0 to 20 minutes flow rate maintain is a 1 cm cube per minute temperature maintain is a 30 degree uh, injection is a 25 microliter 
run time is 20 minutes. So 1000 milligram per liter benzoate standard solution have to be prepared. So it is prepared as given follow. Dissolve 0.11 gram of sodium benzoate in 100 cm cube of deionized water. Working standard between 1 to 100 ppm were prepared by serial dilutions from the 1000 milligram per liter concentrate. So here is the sample preparation and analysis method for HPLC method. Approximately 20 cm cube of water added to 5 gram each of the samples and then homogenize for 10 minutes. Carbonated sample should be degassed in an ultrasonic bath prior to the dilution. All samples are diluted with deionized water by 1 is to 100 ratio prior to the analysis. The extraction of sodium benzoate is made by methanol. The mixture 18 thoroughly mixed with 35 cm cube of methanol. The volume is brought with water and filtered through Wattman paper number 1. The sample is then analyzed on determine the concentration of sodium benzoate in the sample. So in this video, you have learned about estimation of boric acid by titrimetric method, estimation of boric acid by spectrophotometric method, which is known as a carminic acid reagent method, and also the estimation of sodium benzoate by HPLC method. So please learn a next topic of this unit in my next video. Till then, I wish you a happy e-learning and I thank you for watching this video.